administration is confused about inflation. Consumers and voters are not. They see it, they feel it every day, and they really don't like it. You would think that the Biden team would take note of this and respond. But they're tone deaf. On the day that gas hit yet another record high, the president said in the short term, there's nothing to be done. Same with food prices. Basically, you're on your own. Maybe the president should send in Kamala Harris to find the root causes of inflation. Better not look too hard, though. The root cause of this disaster can be found in Biden's policies. The root cause goes all the way back to day one of this presidency. Right from the get-go, Biden abandoned energy independence and embraced the spending and printing of trillions of dollars. That started the inflation ball rolling, and it started way before Putin invaded Ukraine. Biden will do nothing to correct his policy mistakes. He won't bring back energy production and he won't cut spending. In fact, he's still pushing another trillion in spending and tells us it's part of the plan to fight inflation. How wrong can you be? As the Wall Street Journal points out today, the inflation debacle is the failure of progressive policies. It's going to cost the Democrats the House and maybe perhaps the Senate. But hopefully, inflation kills America's brief enthusiasm for socialism.